So I'm not the biggest Lego Marvel fan, and if you've been following my channel for a while, you probably know that the main Lego theme that I collect is Star Wars. And before today, the only Lego Marvel set that I had in my possession is this one right behind me, the Avengers Tower. Anyway, the one Lego Marvel set that I've had my eye on for a while now is the Lego Guardians of the Galaxy ship. Because A, the set is just super freaking dope, and B, it's like kind of a UCS style set and has a plaque and everything, which is just super awesome and looks like it would be a great display piece. So my birthday was the other month and my grandma bought me none other than the Guardian's ship. So huge shout out to grandma for making this video possible. Anyway, this is now the second Lego Marvel set in my collection. And I must say the build was super cool and engaging. And there were a ton of super intricate building techniques used in this set, especially on the wings and the cockpit area. The minifigures are also a pretty big highlight of this set. You get Rocket Raccoon, Star-Lord, Groot, Mantis, Thor, and Chitauri. So you get a total of six amazing minifigures, which is awesome for a set like this. The set also comes with a full interior and there are two panels on the top of the ship that are held in by a couple studs that you can remove and access the interior and place all of your minifigures in the cockpit seating. There's also a ton of these flaps on the sides of the ship for exhaust and whatnot, but they're all on ball joints so you can position them however you want, which is a pretty cool detail. Overall, I really love this set and would definitely recommend it to anyone who likes the Marvel movies or, you know, just Guardians of the Galaxy in general. I mean, I would consider myself an amateur Marvel fan and I still really like this set. Like, I've seen all the movies, I'm just not as much of a nerd about Marvel as I am about Star Wars, but this set was a great build. It looks amazing on display with the super cool rotating stand and it comes with some amazing minifigures. Overall, I give this set about a 9.8 out of 10, just because some of the figures could have used some leg printing and other details like that, but that's literally my only issue with this set. The price point is really good at 150 US dollars for over 1900 pieces, but as always, let me know your thoughts on this set down below and also let me know if I should start collecting more of these Lego Marvel sets in the future. I mean, Lego just announced at LegoCon that they're coming out with a brand new Sanctum Sanctorum set, which just looks super awesome. So might be adding a third Lego Marvel set to the collection. You never know. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.